if you've been shooting long enough, you will get to this point where you will have dust on your sensors. And that little auto dust cleaning thing sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. But inevitably, you will get dust on your sensors and you will get them in your photos and you will have to learn how to Photoshop them out. But there is an easier way to do it rather than going into actual Photoshop and using a clone stamp tool or a patch tool or anything and getting rid of it. You can all you can do all of it in Lightroom. And that's what we're going to talk about now. In this image here, I actually have a little piece of dust right here. And I don't know if you can see it. It's a little dot. Let me zoom right into that here. Right into there. You see that? That is a piece of dust. Here's something interesting. If you've never seen dust on your sensor, dust on a sensor will either look like a little squiggle, which is a piece of dust that looks like a oh, like a curly hair, or it'll be a spot. And those are typically the two types of dust that you'll get onto your sensor. And they will always look like this, where it is just a black dot or a black squiggle. If you run into a situation where all of a sudden you see like these white kind of bright spots, that is dust that is on your lens, whether it's on the outside of your lens. So like, you know, dust here, or whether it is dust on the inside of your lens, like in there, the white spots are going to be from dust on your lens. So if you experience that, then all you need to do is clean your lens. If you get the dark spots, it's on your sensor. So why are the dust spots on your lens brighter? Well, that's because when the light comes through, the light shines and dust absorbs that light and reflects that light. And that's why it becomes white. Whereas if it's on the sensor, it doesn't let light pass through. That's why it becomes black. All right, regardless, let's go back. I'm going to show you how we're going to fix this. So in Lightroom, I've already got everything open in my develop settings. And I'm going to go up to here where you see that little Band-Aid icon. I'm going to use Q to activate it. So it is the healing tool. You can activate that by pressing Q. And then you can just make your brush size as about the same size as what your dust spot is and click it. And that is going to get rid of it. See? It's all gone. Great. Now, that seems okay. However, if you're in a situation like this, and you're looking at it and thinking, where is that little dust spot? I know I have a dust spot on my sensor. It hasn't moved. Therefore, it should be in this shot too. Well, here's the cool thing in the healing tool. You can press the letter A. And all of a sudden, it gets into this black and white, hyper contrasty, image which shows you the outlines of everything that is in your image. So when you see a piece of dust, look right here. See, that is my dust spot. Okay, I'm going to press A again. So on this size, it's very hard to see where that dust is. But if I press A, now it shows very, very clearly where that is. So I like that because I can go straight into it and get rid of just that dust spot, right? And one of the other things I really like about this tool is that when you're going through, you will start seeing your images a little bit differently. And like this one here, for example, you can see all the outlines and because it's black and white and it is such a high contrast black and white, you can really tell that all my lines are now straight up and down. You can see it from a more of a just a pure composition perspective than rather than getting distracted by all the things like color, lighting, all that. You can purely focus on your composition and make sure that it is 100%. So I like going through all my photos once with the healing tool with this view on so that I can see a where all my dust particles are and b just check my composition for my verticals and check for anything else that I need to fix from a compositional uh, perspective. So that is the healing tool. Remember the shortcut key A to bring this lovely tool on. And if you have any questions about this, by all means, reach out, put it in the comments, and we shall chat. Until next time.
Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, questions, put them below and be sure to click on like, subscribe and click on that little bell to be notified every time we put up new content. And I am happy to announce that our online real estate photography course is now done and it is ready for you. Just go to www.robmoroto.com and use a coupon code that is in the show notes here to get yourself a nice little discount. All right, see you later.